G'day guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today, I'm going to be grading every AFL team's season in 2023. So basically how this works, I give them a grade from all the way from E minus, all the way up to um, A plus for each AFL team. So we'll go in alphabetical order, starting off with the Crows and then obviously ending with the Western Bulldogs. Before we do get into this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new, as we did recently hit 100 subscribers. We're at 104, or no, no, 103, as I'm recording this video currently, so yeah, good scenes. Okay, we'll get into the actual video, starting off with the Adelaide Crows. The Adelaide Crows, they had an okay season. Um, honestly, they were robbed of finals, really. Realistically, I think that they were robbed of finals, because, well, they were, actually. They should have made finals, that, that wouldn't have been... Um, Instead of Sydney, they should have made they should have made finals instead of Sydney because that call in round 23 was absolutely dreadful from the umpires. Even doing the clock on the next day, um, even um, confessed that it was actually a um, goal. So yeah, pretty shit umpiring if you ask me. Um, but yeah, the Adelaide Crows had an all right season, not too bad. So I'm going to give them a C plus. Okay, now moving on to the Brisbane Lions. Um, the Brisbane Lions, they had a really great season making the grand final. Sadly, they did lose, honestly. But th but, but honestly, those calls in that grand final were pretty fucking shit. So I think that Brisbane should have won the grand final. But it is what it is, I guess. Collingwood won. But um, all over, like the whole, the whole season, they had a pretty good season, all in all. Um, probably one of their best in a while. So I'm going to be grading them. A, a minus. Next up, we got the Carlton Blues. They had an outstanding season, in my opinion. Um, great season, so I'm going to be giving them a B plus. So, yeah, pretty good season for the Carlton Blues. They definitely exceeded expectations. Next up, we got the Collingwood Magpies. Well, they were the minor premiers and they were also the premiers. So, just like the Geelong Cats last year, um, great season. Um, but towards the end of the season, they did look a bit shaky, but other than that, they had an absolute outstanding season. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be giving them an A+. Plus. Okay, next up we have the Essendon Bombers. Um, they did look pretty good. They looked like they were going to make finals um, until about round 15. Um, and they dropped off. They, like, they really dropped off. They fucking fell for a fucking cliff and broke every single fucking bone in their body in round 15. But about, yeah, well, around round 15, they just, they dropped off entirely. It was, it was pretty sad to see. I really thought that they were gonna make finals and could potentially go into about a semi, but then probably get knocked out in about in the semi. But yeah, um, Essendon Bombers, I think they finished 11, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, they had an okay season. Um, so I'm gonna give them a B minus. Okay guys, now we've got the Fremantle Dockers. They didn't have the best season, I'll give you that. Compared to last year, this was a pretty shit season. So I'm just gonna give them a straight up um, C minus, or should I give them a D plus? I reckon I'll give them a, I'll give them a C minus just because they did have a few good things along this season. Now the reigning premiers from last year, um, the Geelong Cats. Um, yeah, they dropped off really bad this year. Really, really bad. Um, yeah, I think they, they finished 12th from the last, from the year before winning one premiership, finishing first. Plus, actually winning the grand final by 70 plus points. Um, yeah, not the best season for the um, Geelong Cats, but I'm gonna give them a D plus. Okay, guys, next up we have got the Gold Coast Suns. Um, dropped off a little bit. People thought they were their finals contention. They really weren't, honestly, in my opinion. So I'm just going to give them a D plus. What can I say? GWS Giants, outstanding season. Everyone had them um, 16th, 17th. Um, wooden spoon, most people had them. And they finished 7th on the ladder making it all the way to a prelim final, nearly beating Collingwood. Realistically, they should have um, won that game because that was a shit call. There was a couple of shit calls in that game. I swear the umpires were on Collingwood's side in the finals this year. But 
yeah, they they had an absolutely outstanding season, so I'm going to give them a B plus. The Hawks? The Hawks. They didn't have a bad season. Wasn't too bad. Finished 16th, but it wasn't too bad compared to North and West Coast. Um, so I'm going to give... I'll give I'll give the Hawks I'll, I'll give them benefit of doubt I'll give them a D minus I'm not going to put them in the E's um, uh, there's only two clubs that are in the E's and I think we all know who who they are um, one of them being my club uh, but yeah I'll, I'll give them a D minus they didn't have too bad of a season okay next we've got the Melbourne Demons um, they had a pretty good season as well but the only downside to their season was really finals. With finals, they went out in straight sets for a second year in a row. Actually, yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. Um, Melbourne Demons and Port Adelaide, two of the top four sides, um, both went out in sets. So, yeah, it was pretty shocking this year to see um, Carlton and GWS to go through to the prelims instead of them. But, yeah, um, I'm going to give the Melbourne Demons... A, I'll give them. I reckon I'll give them a B minus, or no, I'll, I'll give them a. I'll give them a B plus. I'll give them a B plus. Okay, next up we got North Melbourne. Um, yeah, they had a not bad. Oh, yeah, it was fucking bad. Um, not as bad as the last two years. Obviously, West Coast finish, finishing wooden spoon. Finally, um, oh, everyone thought North were going to go three years in a row wooden spoon, but they didn't. They just scraped out. Purely, purely on um, percentage. Just on about 10%, really. But, yeah, um, I'll give North a E. Okay, Port Adelaide, the other team that went out in straight sets in finals. Um, just like Melbourne Demons. Not too bad, but then at the same time, they had some pretty shit games and some pretty shit times. The first, maybe, six rounds. They, were, they weren't looking like finals contention, but... Um, yeah, they, they ended up finishing, I think, third or second, um, making it to a semi, but sadly going out in straight sets just like the Ds. But I'll give them a um, B plus just like the Ds. Okay, next up we have got the Richmond Tigers. The Richmond Tigers had an okay season. Um, wasn't too bad. Um, everyone thought they were going to make finals zone because they had Taranto and Hopper, but... They re realistically, they should have made the eight. They should have played a bit better this season. Everyone thought they were going to, but yeah, they, they just didn't live up to the expectations. So I'll give them a C. Okay, guys, we're nearing to the end. Now we've got St Kilda. Um, yeah, they didn't have too bad of a season. They made it to semi. Oh, no, oh, no, they actually, no, they didn't. They got knocked out in finals round one. But to be fair... To, they were actually in finals was actually surprising because everyone thought they were going to finish um, in the bottom 10, somewhere in the bottom 10. But no, they actually made finals. So yeah, I'll give yeah, that's a that's a plus for, for the Saints. But yeah, I'll give them I reckon probably a C or no not a C. I'll give them a I'll give them a B. I'll give them a B minus. That's what I'll give them. Okay, now we have got the Sydney Swans. Um, they made finals. Purely just because, of, well, they shouldn't have made finals actually. Um, but yeah, uh, they got knocked out in first week anyway, so it doesn't really give. A sh I don't really give a shit. Um, but yeah, they had an okay season. One of those mid-table sides, just like, um, uh, what do you call it? Just like the um, Saints, but they made finals in the end. So I'll give them a. I'll give them a C plus. Okay, my boys, West Coast Eagles, they had a fucking atrocious season. Fuck me. Losing by, I think it was 171 points to Sydney Swans. That is completely fucked, if you ask me. But, yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty shit how they lost by that much. But they won to the Western Bulldogs, who ended up finishing ninth, which is not bad. And they also won to the Ruse by five points. Um, yeah, so th these are their three wins of the season. They won to the Ruse by five points. And then they won to the Western Bulldogs by seven points. 
and then they won to the um what do you call them and then they won to the GWS Giants by 19 points which is actually surprising but at the time GWS were a shit side in the first maybe 12 or yeah first half of the season they were pretty shit GWS but yeah I'll give them an overall E minus which is the lowest score on the list that you can possibly get okay now last but not least we got the Western Bulldogs they finished ninth, just missing out on finals which is Pretty sad, honestly. They should have made finals. I think that late West Coast West, West Coast loss um, in round twenty three really costed them finals chances. Because if they didn't win that, I don't. I think if they won that, they would have made finals, and it wouldn't have been GWS or Sydney. It would have been um, Adelaide and Western Bulldogs. But anyway, yeah, um, I'll give them an overall. Um, see on their season. Okay, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Remember to like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and subscribe if you are new um, as we did recently hit 100 as I said. Um, so yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.